Southern Methodist University's recent decision to relocate a memorial to the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks over concerns students might be triggered caused outrage across the fruited plain. But the university announced late Wednesday they are reversing that decision and will allow young Americans for freedom to post nearly 3,000 American flags on the Dallas Hall lawn to honor those killed by the Muslim terrorists. Click here for a free subscription to Todd's newsletter, a must-read for conservatives, Grant Wolf, chairman of the SMU Young Americans for Freedom chapter, confirmed a partial agreement had been reached. YAF will continue to work to ensure that the new policy, which will supersede the previous policy language regarding coercion and harassment, reflects the terms of the agreement reached and effectively protects the freedom of expression. Wolf told the Todd Starnes show. The university had initially banished all lawn displays, citing a revised policy aimed at protecting students from harmful or triggering messages. SMU stressed that its policy covered all lawn displays, not just the 9-11 memorial. The relocation of the memorial was roundly denounced and condemned by students, alumni, donors and Texas Gov. Greg Abbott, I think. The students from across campus who came together in the spirit of mutual respect and civil discourse to achieve this outcome, said SMU President R. Gerald Turner in a prepared statement. Throughout these discussions, students have expressed their commitment to freedom of expression, a value the university shares. SMU said they reached an agreement with student leaders to return displays to the prominent lawn space. This agreement provides dedicated spaces for lawn displays, while also preserving open spaces for studying, classes, events and recreation, a university. Statement read, the goal is to balance the needs of all campus community members and use of this historic space. Young Americans for Freedom should be commended for taking a noble stand.